I got this one pepper I wanted to show y'all. I uh I cut the tip off it and I do that. I leave the uh core like intact so my stuffing can stay in the pepper. Then after I clean the pepper at the top like that, I cut it in half and I come down there and I do that. I'm using a, a different camera today. I hope it's okay. But uh, we're going to see when it's finished. But I can see me soon. And you take the... Uh, the veins and all that out. And the seeds. And you do this to all your peppers. I have, let's see. <coughs> I have a dozen of peppers. Um, to do this, you're gonna need like a dozen of peppers, two 12 ounce packs of bacon, uh, eight ounces of sour, uh, not sour cream, cream cheese, and uh, some salmon. And I got a twist for it. And I'm going to show you all the twist when I'm stuffing it. Because I'm, uh, basically, I'm trying to do, like, a sushi roll. But, uh, baked. No, it's not going to have the rice in the, the nori. But, uh, it's going to be interesting. And you clean the inside out. If you want your peppers hot, just take the seeds out. If not, take the veins out too. And you, uh, y'all can't really see what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I just hold it in my hand because it's easier. Try for the middle, but if you don't hit it, it's gonna still get eight, you know. <laughs> I'm trying not to let it pop in my eye because that is painful. Jalapeno juice in the eye. You don't want that. And you vein them out. While you're doing this, or before you start, put you some water on to boil. Because you're going to need the water to boil your peppers in. So that, uh, that they're somewhat softened during the cooking process. But if you like your jalapenos almost raw, don't do it, but I pop on my uh my peppers. What you doing there for? I already got water on. Mm. Oh, and put a little salt in your water, maybe a teaspoon or so. I don't know why I do that. I just do. Maybe to soften them. Oh. My bad. Scrap, I always got to get his second team. Tap dancing. And I'm going to come back because this is going to... I still got about... A, a good bit of pepper to do. Now I want this to be like a 500 mini video of me cleaning peppers and stuffing them and all that other good crap. I'll be back. I'll be back after I boil my peppers. Wait, let me explain 
Well, you know what? I'll be back. Not after I ball them, but as I'm taking them out the pot to show you that process. Later. What up? Now I'm back. My peppers have boiled. I got this bowl of cold water. I'm going to throw some ice in there. I'm going to throw a little more in there. <laughs> and now I take the peppers out. And, uh, yeah, my pot right here. And I put the peppers in the ice water to stop the cooking process now. Ooh. I think that's all of them. Oh, no, they got one more. All right. Now you put them in the ice water. Slow down the cooking process. And um, I guess I'll be back with the stuff in the wrap. Well, no. Because I have... I guess two more things I'm going to show y'all. I don't want to just be like, what she did? So I'm going to uh, show y'all the steps. But after this, like they cool now. And I put them on paper towel to get the water out of them. Some of them are still warm. That one almost, that's cooked more than I wanted. But I put them on paper towel. So they can drain the water off. And after that, I should have had my gloves. But I didn't think I was going to do this, this step. And you put them on paper towel so they can dry out. You know, get some of the water off them. And I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Now I have my salmon. And I'm going to cut my salmon up to prepare it to put on the peppers. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> and I'm just cutting it down like this because I have to remove the skin off it. y'all gonna want to see me do the whole fish, huh? How about I just do this first one? They say this knife is good for that, which it probably is because it's really sharp. <clears throat> and I 
and your, uh, no, this is the yeah. side here. I should have took the skin off from the get. Because I know you can hold it down and slide it under. I'm probably taking too long. I'm right handed. Oh, well, this piece off. Yeah. I guess I need a bigger chopping board or a plate. I'm trying to get the scale off. And the reason I'm cutting my salmon pieces this big is because I want them still to be uh, not dried out. Because I'm not deep frying them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm putting them in the oven. And yeah, I know. You leaving meat on there. Don't worry. It all giddy. Make a good soup with them. Uh, uh, stock. A stock. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the chipino. Yeah, you got to use it. Bleed up. I'm horrible at this. I never, when I went fishing, I never skinned my fish. I just threw it in the grease, except for the catfish. But catfish, you got to use pliers to skin that. But trout, crocus, we just used to uh, clean the scales off them and throw them in the grease. On the pan with some butter. All right, I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back and I'll start my stuffing and wrapping process then later. All right, y'all, I'm back and I'm about to stuff my peppers. I have my peppers here, my cream cheese, my bacon. You can't see the avocado on the salmon, but they are there. Uh, I take a pepper, I put a little avocado in it. I said it there for now, because I'm trying to do more than one right quick. My avocados and my pepper. Okay, now I've done that. I'm going to move my peppers to the side, because I'm just doing a few of them for you all. And I don't have much room on my camera, so put the cream cheese on top of it. Put the cream cheese on top of it. Cream cheese on top. Now I seasoned my salmon with some black pepper and salt. And I'm going to put that on top of it too. Y'all see that? Now, y'all see that? I normally cut my bacon in half, but today we're going to wrap the whole thing on there. And you wrap the bacon around your pepper, all the way around. Try not to let it double up on you. Because you're going to come back with it. If it's enough. Nope. That was enough right there. Stuffed pepper. And, uh, 
I'm just gonna wrap this one left. And after that, I'm gonna put them in the oven on 400 for 30 minutes. And after that, I'll come back and show y'all my finished results. All right, later. What up, y'all? I'm back with my finished result uh, of my stuffed jalapenos. It, instead of 25 minutes, it took 45 minutes on 400 in the oven. Uh, go ahead and on, try them. Come up with your own creation. Put a video out there. Let us see. Because there are so many ways to stuff peppers than just with cream cheese. Um, until next time, peace, love, and hair grease.